Hello everyone, welcome back to The Revival. Today we bring you a double header. It's all about the title. First of all, a trip to Manchester United and then at home at St James's Park, we host Arsenal, the second place team. Let's get straight into it. It's so good when we haven't got players that we need, eh? Uh, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, right, okay, well, we'll play Joel Linton up front because Werner's not really feeling it. And I'm resistant to change things too much, honestly. Definitely want Rubri on the bench. And we'll put Alves on the bench as well for Tatibo. And we'll play... Mm, no, I'm going to keep Hummels and Lascelles at the back, I think. I'm just going to have to risk it today. If we play as we can play, as I know we can play, we can absolutely win this game. But we need to be all hands on deck, everybody firing on all cylinders. It can't be like it was against Norwich. You take any kind of rest against the team with the players of the quality that United have and you're going to be in trouble. Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick-off here. A little bit grey overhead and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely back So first here. things first, good. we're going to concentrate on keeping hold of the ball. Supporters. And expectations high no need to take any camps. unnecessary so risks where it comes to the possession. Colours at Old Trafford, which is now officially the largest club football ground in England. Its capacity 75,000 and growing. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. No, I just couldn't get the ball into just joining us, we are the big man up front. Newcastle come into this game needing something. To fall short here would impact horribly on their future. Getting drawn to the ball, unfortunately. I'm a little bit guilty of that. That's good. He gets his body in the way there. It's about all he can do. Tomine. Loses his balance and loses the ball. And now Breaks Newcastle on, on the break. That is terrific skill. <sighs> Tries a stick to get... That's one way Tries a trick to even happen. to get around his man, but unable to. Manchester United have been in fine form in front of goal. They've not failed to score in any of their last five games. That doesn't fill me with too much Hayden. confidence. That's that. But we'll see it's what we can a do. Rather gentle affair so far. Manchester United, whose manager was the brains behind the last win. Yeah, he had a problem, but he was confident he had the players to fix it. And his willingness to take risks is what I learned. And that worked an absolute treat. Out to the right. OK, ball. that'll be a corner. Of a corner. Let's whip it in, see if someone can get their head on it. Unfortunately, it can't, but we do retain possession. Get it back out wide, try and play it back in again. Hayden. Oh, nearly. Ball. That's well won back by Hummels. And the man's on side. And he can't get the shot away. Romero unfortunately. And Romero effortlessly. now takes the ball. And can Hummels win the ball? He can. Looking to break out here. Manchester Just United. Unable to get to that ball. Backs into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's Come interesting. On, so what are they? attempting to do well it's it's a bold attempt in my opinion to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting uh oh oh how is he onside it's good distance on it. what on earth was that that was a mix up in the center of defense the goalkeeper able to get a foot out scoop it away didn't feel like i was necessarily out of control and near post header goes wide very good effort he would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though Goalkeeper obviously playing safety first, so he stuck it straight out of play. Okay, now Newcastle with the ball, building from the back. Just 
taking it nice and slow, looking for an opening. There's a nice Joshua passage down the right-hand side. We're able to get the throw in. Here it is now, surely. And if it hadn't have been for the player being blocked be off, that kick. through ball was going to hit the man on the one-two, but probably should have been paying more attention and cancelled that effort as soon as I saw him being blocked off. Well played, he saw that coming. Oh, he's so done two players with a drag back there. The first time in a while. And it's Lingard. What a uh -oh. ball this has turned out to be. Oh, what's five. that? What's that? Well done, goalkeeper, but what on right earth was that? He just looped it back into the centre of the box. We are taking so many risks at this point. Our defenders are writing checks that our asses can't cash. That's bad. That's a bad cross. That was never going to hit anybody. Have to try and plug this hole in the centre of midfield. Lindelof up towards the front line. Finds himself That's well won by Willems. Ball played out to Nkunku now. Driving on now. What can they conjure from here? Couldn't do anything with that ball. He was looking for a lobbed through ball, but it didn't come off for him. Has he found his man? That's Hummels. Back in field. Shelby, and it's played forward. That's a good ball to find him. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Ah, of course, he was offside because of the That's shot. Offside. Yes, it is. The keeper's got good distance on that. Okay, so John Joe Shelby is all sure. by himself there and somehow manages. Oh my god, we're just not able to keep hold of the ball at all at the moment. I'm going to have to concentrate. And the counter is on. And Kunku brings the ball forward. Acres of space. Oh, the goalkeeper's pulled out. A wonderful save there. But I tell you what, Joel Linton, acres of space. It was a simple ball by Kunku. If he'd just been able to push it slightly wider, could be the he could have curled it past that goalkeeper. Half. Here comes the corner. And that's been leave it clear. Has a hit! He's in! And a shot! Ah, he's just not turned correctly there. I hit and shoot before I really it. took an accurate assessment through. of the body position of the uh, of the of Nkunku, I think it was, and he's unable to get any power on that shot. Nil-nil at half time, not massively unhappy, but not exactly very happy about the performance either. I'm kind of middle of the road at the moment. I might be a little bit silent in the second half here because I feel like I'm gonna to need to concentrate to make anything out of this game. Keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. That's a foul, surely. It is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. But we're already into the second period. A tight old game so far. Ball comes out Can from the defence. That's a good play Nkunku. by Nkunku. Plays it into Maximan. Ah, it's just the wrong it's ball the again. Joel Linton not alive to what was going on in front of him or behind him, I should say. Through ball. Joel Linton's in space here. He could finish it. He does finish it. It's 1 0 to Newcastle. First blood drawn. And the big man from Brazil. Gets the goal well, that Newcastle were after. Offside, he doesn't have he the pace of Werner. Yeah, he was on. But give him a chance and he'll show just as deadly accuracy in front of goal. Newcastle take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. 
Yeah, I think for them to get the nose in front away from home is brilliant. But these home fans will demand a response. Is that a foul on yeah, one of my players, I foul. think? Referee's given a free yeah, kick. Yeah, it must have been a late challenge after the ball was passed away. So Hayden's had the uh, offence committed on him. See, again, that just kind of feels like two players colliding. It doesn't feel like there's anything intentional there. I will take the foul, of course I will. But if I was... Uh, if that was given against Willems. me, I don't think I'd be very happy. Oh, he's found him in space. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Oh, Maximan right did everything oh, except look, apply the finish. Two Brilliant one-two between the Frenchman and Joel Linton there. Great take on his left foot. The ball played at some pace. Just unable to put it in the back of the net. Shaw goes looking. Diogo Dallo. And here's you can Lingard. tell how much the players want it That's because one of our most attacking players, Maximan, is back there in the left back else. position, the left wing back position, challenging for the ball. This game means everything to these players. Nice switch of play from one wing to the other. Hummel's pushed out wide there. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist. Uh, again, the pass of, of just the not quite remaining. right. He might have a, a tough call to make now. John Joe Shelby gets into the right position to intercept. Hayden. Lascelles. Newcastle have made a great start to the second half. Another terrible pass, and this one's really one let goal. Manchester United in here. Fortunately, they don't do too much with it, and Hayden does the business, gets back and makes Lascelles. up for the mistake. John Joe Shelby. Willems. That's the pass. Ah, it's a it's good tackle, good tracking back there. I don't know who the Man United defender was that put in that tackle, but he took the ball away. In need of attention here. And yeah, Hendricks has pulled up, sake, so we're going to have to make a change, I think. It'll be a quicker fix. Even if it's Looks just cramp, we don't want to take a risk with a left with uh, a defender. So we're going to bring on Dani Alves in that right back role. Just wondering if there's anything else we can do to shore things up. I think there is. Going to have to change the formation to do so. But what we can do is we can leave Shelby in the advanced role and Nkunku can come off in favour of Bodmer who will play alongside Hayden at the base of midfield. That should give us a little more solidarity. I'm also thinking about putting Junior on. In fact, I have already put Junior on in that position so now there. So we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Come on now. Let's get a second. Only partially clear. And it's Danny Alves. John Joe Shelby. It's a good ball. Unfortunately, the player away. unable to get to it the in time. was strong and firm. Newcastle just play it safe, Daniel make sure Alves. that they're going to keep hold of the ball. Lascelles. Recycling the possession. That's ah, a poor pass. Should have realised that, that was never going to get where it wanted to go. And uh, suddenly Manchester United could put us in trouble, but luckily Hummels is equal to it and is able to make the interception. Matt Hummels. Lascelles, Hayden, Lascelles, Shelby. Oh, it's a foul. It could be a penalty. 
Ooh, that could no, be a penalty, you know. The offense took place outside the area. Uh, okay, yeah, never mind, never mind. But it's nice to see that we are given the occasional decision. Yep, just outside it, so it was. Okay, and so we get a chance from the set piece. Gonna go with Shelby. Actually, no, can we... Can we find a left footer that can take this? Who have we got that's left footed here? I don't think we have anybody that's left footed. Certainly no one that's able to take a decent free kick. So we'll probably just have to go for Shelby. So it's just going to be a case of dipping it. Hope it goes over the wall. Shelby! It doesn't go over the wall, but we managed to keep possession. Loose. So that's fine. Shelby. Oh, it go? oh! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Uh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. Lingard looks to dink one in. Just turned United off the attacking fullback instruction there. There's Wants a real us to be a little bit more solid through the middle. Uh, that's not how you're going to do it. Diogo Dallo plays it forward. Gets the better of his man. Oh, he's got some legs on him. Nicely controlled. Here's the chance to cross. How on earth Delegri. did he keep and control of the ball there? Sure. Can't get the better well of done, Hayden. Number. No, sorry. Junior. Well, it it's the boots. They, they fool me every time, especially when he makes a challenge like that. Now, really. Ah, no. Just too far ahead of him. And the game's getting very stretched suddenly. He's made sure that that won't get through. Oh, my God. What is going on with the sure. passing now? No one can hang on to the Put ball. In. There is Hayden. Into stoppage time, very little left on it. Oh, there's a man not left over on the left-hand side. If we can find him, we can't find him, unfortunately. Willems cuts it out. Now it's just about playing it safe again. And there we go, one 0 to Newcastle. Not a classic by any stretch of the imagination, but it's three points, three valuable points away from home at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, this game looked to have nil-nil written all over it, but credit to them, they upped their game in the end, and I thought they got what they deserved. Looking deserve. at the stats, well, we more than deserved well, it, looking at those. Jim, Manchester a United without a you. single shot on target. Nobody really stood out, apart from Joel Linton, the goal scorer. Hayden having a reasonably good game. St. Maximan, I don't really see where he got a seven from, but... I really should stop taking issue with the rating system. We all know it's broke as fuck. So here's the rest of the results. Liverpool getting a fantastic result at Norwich. 4-0 they won that game. Arsenal drawing 2 all with Crystal Palace, which probably puts Liverpool back in the driver's seat as far as the race for second place and the potential to overtake us at the top. Manchester City beating Wolves 3-0 as well. That definitely puts them further in control at the top as well so we see that Arsenal are still second behind us on 56 points Liverpool only a point behind now though with Manchester City fourth on 53 taking a five point lead over Manchester United now so it's starting to stretch out a little bit at the top of the table just for anyone that wants to know what's going on at the bottom Norwich Stoke and Fulham are resident to the relegation zone Crystal Palace only one point above with Aston Villa two points further ahead on 23. So now we are safe in the knowledge that whatever happens in this next game, we will be top. Well, everything looks pretty hunky-dory as far as we're concerned here, so we're not going to make any changes. What we will do, though, is Ribery is going to come on for Dubravka on the bench. And I want to find a place for Dani Alves. Not really seeing much in the way of a space for Dani Alves, however. I think he's just going to have to sit this one 
out. I'm wondering if we have an option at right back. We can play Hayden there and put Bodmer on in his place at defensive midfield. So that's fine. Right, let's go. course we're only about 24 hours 36 hours removed from the debacle that was amazon prime entering the premier league well welcome everybody to a broadcasting of the world really matters there is era so to speak building and uh, a lot of people were unable to watch the match because of the fact that they had smart tvs that were too out of date they older. had uh, other but devices that weren't that, in date which really made it difficult for a lot of people to watch their games it, it would have been a good idea perhaps for Amazon to come out ahead of time and say these are the things that won't work well, these are the things really that will work but That's they decided so to do that 24 to hours before kickoff genius really we have already started here so dear oh dear already we've given the ball away this really is about as good as it gets good hustle to win the ball back and Werner's got a run through the middle here he's gonna have to take it away from the play no he's lost the ball out to safety no strength Hayden gets it back Newcastle has the league's best defensive record Ceballos Shelby's really being hustled out of the that ball a lot you know necessary. Tierney tries to get it forward quickly Lascelles Newcastle have been scoring with pleasing consistency goals in each of the last five games Hector Baron knocks it away. Has a pop! Shot, and it's saved and by Leno. Tested the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Oh, Bobby! That's a good shot. Rifled it in nice loose. and low, plenty of and bend on it. Goalkeeper had to do well to keep oh, that out. Meet. Whipped in. What the oh, hell? Bobby what the in. hell? Nobody reacting to the ball at all. Out to the left it goes. Got away with it, but you have to wonder how many times is that going to be the case. In comes the cross. Hayden. They're able to play it out of Hubble's defense. Goes looking. And now we can look to counter-attack, perhaps. Newcastle have been mighty impressive in defense just recently. That's a shot. Oh, a great save from Leno. Werner did everything strong. right. Yeah, Took well, the ball with his first touch. Shot with his second. Fantastic stop. Outside of the boot. And Leno, with an outstretched right hand, able to deny his international teammate. I'm getting really sick of all these nasty little nudges that these players are giving my guys and they're getting away with them. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. Bit annoyed that somehow that's not our throw as well. Uh, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Oh, it's just not hit. That pass just didn't have enough venom on it. Forward. Otherwise, we might have been able to make something of it. Henricks. He's had that oh, shooting chance. Oh, pick that one out. Hello. And Kunku absolutely cool finding the sweet spot he with that shot. Stop. Good yeah. lord. Now that's what I call Fusion. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was there. He didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Woof. First touch to set himself, second touch puts it past the outstretched hand of the goalkeeper. Have some of that. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. 
We finally scored one, guys. We finally scored a shot from outside the area during an episode. Normal service can now be resumed. Lascelles. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1 0. Henricks. It's a nice lob ball. Put pressure on the defender. He had to do Going something about it. He's put it out for a throw. This could spell and Kunku again. Oh, no, not this time. He's got the taste in his mouth. He wants another one. The goalkeeper not going to let him have it that easily. Good header from Hummels. Werner wins it. Lobbed through ball into Maximan. Defender does very well to head it out. I think that was Mustafi. Ay, 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 ay. I thought that was going to be going to Coco. It didn't, obviously. Overcommitting maybe with the fullback here. Yeah. That's That's the, the danger is if they the get through. The first time in a while. And win that header. Somebody win something for Christ's sakes. Werner. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, he's just muscled out by and Bellerin. It's good it strength by the Spaniard. And it's Aubameyang. Safety first, back to Schubert. Henricks. Joncho Shelby. That's good. Ball. That's he's good. That's easy for... Oh, no, brilliant defending. Cleared without complication. Max Hummels. Willems. Referees had a look. OK, 1-0 at half-time. And what a goal to separate the teams. And Kunku with an absolutely fantastic strike from outside the area, curling past the left hand of Bernd Leno. The stats definitely saying that Newcastle were the better team in that half. But we have to be careful because Arsenal have showed us, both in this game and in the past, that they don't need much in the way of an opportunity to get a shot in on goal. And with someone like Aubameyang, who's able to rasp shots in as easily as he can, and with such venom, you have to be very, very careful at all times. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Maximan. Options out wide. He's left his man. Oh, he's done him. Uh, it's a bad cross, oh, though. The one done. weakness of Maximan's game, if you're going to criticise him for anything, it's that he doesn't very often manage to get a decent cross away from a good position. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. Ooh, There's nearly. absolutely no supply. Now a chance to break. Hector Bellerin. Arsenal contested that thrill a minute draw. Last That's a time. great little win. John Joe Shelby. Could and they're away. Here. Coco on Swiss the run. High. Defender does well to get it away. It's a throw into Newcastle. Gone for a throw in. Those lobbed through balls to the wing proving to be quite effective. Shelby. What a ball this has turned out to be. Aubameyang. Dashing forward at pace. Hector Pellerin. That's good defending. John Joe Shelby. Forward it goes. Just brushed off the ball there. Mustafi plays it forward. And it's Hector Bellerin. Gets Pepe the ball. easily dispossessed. 
Well, and now Maximan again using his pace to try, try and stretch the game down this wing. Defending. Werner. Decent ball into Werner, back to Maximan. Maximan again, hopefully he can get onto the ball. ball. No, Who's but Willems has it. And Willems... Pings it out wide. Ah, no. Aubameyang contributed plenty in his last outing, including a second half equaliser. Well, Kunku can't keep really up well with Pepe, body. so it's going to have to be the defender that deals Aubameyang. with it. He doesn't deal with it, and this is a chance, and it's a goal for Arsenal. And we were warned, we were absolutely Arsenal warned, and Neville. Arsenal have now managed to get the equaliser, Aubameyang. Uh, good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Comedy of errors. As Anil, the way he Shouldn't have committed so defense, early. Of, hey, and after Pepe him. was hey, past him, he was able really. to just play it into Aubameyang, and with the easiest of finishes between the legs of Schubert, there are three men around Arsenal him. They shouldn't have been beaten so easily. Now with, uh, a break in play. And amazingly, Bellerin, having been such a pain in our sides, has now been replaced. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Look, this is not for the faint-hearted, Peter. This is hard and fast football. I'm wondering if Joel Linton might be a good idea. Werner having difficulty holding the ball up. He's looked long this time. And he's there Joel to Linton cut it out. would have less of an issue with that. That intervention was very necessary. Oh, well, aye, aye, really aye. alert to the danger. Really didn't have enough to concern Werner. the defence. Again, just that nasty little nudge from the defender just breaks his stride and completely nullifies his pace. into some space this is very good from Arsenal it has to be said John Joe Shelby brilliant from Shel oh come on that's a good tackle from Shelby there's nothing wrong with it Kebaios. goes out for a corner very nicely there and with 13 minutes left left I'm thinking maybe Joel Linton is definitely maybe definitely succession. yeah that's well, good English well so done Dave for side, uh, uh, I'm definitely going to be putting Joel Linton on also Shelby he's pretty much run his race so at this point it's no surprise we'll go with junior and let's make a triple sub why the hell not Machia's coming on at left back as well And it's been taken short. Socrates gets it in. No! Well done, goalkeeper. Lacazette left all by himself. Fortunately for us, him. he's not able to profit from it. And it's played forward. Right, Maximan down the left-hand side, into space out gets wide. the ball. Nicely oh, he does his man. He's unable to keep hold of the ball, foul. and it's a foul. It wasn't Maximan at all, it was Nkunku. For fuck's sake, how chance. do I keep getting those two mixed up? So it's the, the hair, I swear now. it is. He's having a look at what's available. Back into the middle. Turns and goes back. That's a bad pass, and it's Newcastle given the Arsenal the chance to break. Kunku, luckily, is more competitive. Joel Linton! Oh, he's done it! He's only gone and done it! And they get themselves in front! Brilliant placement. By Joel Linton, he just holds his position, he knows he's in space, and if a ball can be found, he's in a perfect position to finish it. And wouldn't you know it, the perfect ball is indeed played into him, and he's just able to shape it around the outstretched... I've, how many times have I said outstretched hands of Leno today? Too many times. Right, now it's the job that Newcastle need to do. They need to make sure that they keep Arsenal away from their goal. 
Newcastle need to hold on for a few more moments. It's all about defence now. Ah, well done, well done, Nkunku. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Vinicius Junior. That's a good pass. Joel Linson did everything he could to get there. Good cross. Ceballos gets good. And that's, and that's everything. 2-1 to Newcastle, Newcastle final Kelly. score. That's Kelly. all she wrote. The fat woman sang and she was singing Thrilling. local now hero. Frustrating until the very end, but we do have a winner. Well, Good performance like by Nkunku, a brilliant all-round performance so by him. They found a way to win it and they could take great satisfaction from uh, pretty happy with that result that focus. we've played better but we've also played a lot worse we've lost time, to Arsenal so before to Jim, and a very good not this time to you. that'll do three points six points from this particular episode it's a perfect result exactly what I would have wanted coming into it St Maximan only getting a 5.5 but then Schubert only getting a 5 himself it's a thankless task being a goalkeeper so, other results today. Manchester United beat Bournemouth 4-1. Liverpool won 3-1 at West Brom. And Manchester City 4-0 victors at Everton. Tottenham maintaining their winning run, which means that they are around about the, possess the positions for the Europa League. So, after that latest round of games, Newcastle United top of the pile on 65 points. Liverpool behind on 58 with Manchester City and Arsenal level pegging on 56 points apiece. Manchester City having scored one more goal as far as goal difference is concerned. They've scored less, but they've conceded less as well which means that they are just ahead of Arsenal and it's us that have done that to the Gunners, unfortunately for them. So that's your lot for another episode. You can see there is a long old gap now before the Wolves match, which we are currently set up to play. It's not going to be the Wolves match that we come back to next, though. I think maybe the next game is going to be, it's going to have to be the first leg of the first knockout round of the Champions League, Roma versus Newcastle in Rome. It's a big one. Don't you dare miss out. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.